while they were all in Shittim, certain men of Israel began to be interested in certain women of Moab. And the women seem interested in them. But the same women who danced with them on Saturday night invited them to church on Sunday morning. And the men went to church and Sunday school, Sunday night supper and prayer meeting. But what pleased the women and Baal, for it was his church, what pleased them really pissed off the Lord. So much so, he said to Moses, Take these men and hang them in broad daylight. I am that mad. Moses passed the word along. He said to the judges of Israel, The men that have been going to Sunday church, kill them. And they did. That did not prevent one fool from bringing a Midianite woman home also in broad daylight, in the sight of Moses, in the sight of the whole congregation of the people of Israel. My God! That seems to have been the least that Phineas, the Phineas that was the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, not the other one, Phineas the priest, this one. That seems to have been the least he was thinking. My God! Because when he saw it, he got up, he walked back to his tent, and he got his spear. And he went after the fool and his whore. There was no other word for her. Right into the fool's tent, and he ran his spear through both of them, the man and the woman underneath him, right straight through. There, he said, God be praised. And Moses said, Now the plague will be stayed. And maybe it was, but 24,000 people died by it anyway. But maybe it was, because the Lord said to Moses that Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, God said, Thank myself for him. He has turned away my wrath because he was jealous as I am jealous. So now I am not going to burn up all of Israel with my jealousy. So, God said, Behold, I give to him my covenant of peace. No, that's, that's what God said. Covenant of peace. And God went on that the covenant would be to Phineas and his descendants evermore and evermore a covenant of peace and of a perpetual priesthood. Because, God said, he was jealous for his God, Phineas, and he made atonement for the people of Israel. The man Phineas sacrificed to make atonement, his name was Zimri. His father's name was Salu, a Simeonite, and the woman, the Midianite woman, her name was Cosby. Her father's name was Zur, an important man in Midian. But it was Phineas that made the atonement. He prepared and made the sacrifice. And it was the Lord that made the covenant of peace. Then God turned to Moses and said, You know, don't go home yet. You need to smite the Midianites. They are wily, wily, and need to be killed to the last man, the last woman, the last child. For you are making a covenant of peace, Moses thought. And an interjection, Jesus, came into his mind. But he didn't know what it meant, because he didn't speak Greek or even think it. 